Welcome back to RC Brucey. We got rear end problems. No, we're not that kind of channel. X Max rear end problems. We're going to fix it tonight. So let's get to it. Welcome back to bench time. Welcome back to RC Brucey. As you saw there in the introduction, we got some rear end problems in our uh, X Max here. Uh, I thought I'd do it a little different this time. I kind of pre-took everything apart. Uh, maybe to make the video not so long. Uh, and just get to the main gist of everything. But uh, as you can see here, the gears are not looking good. They are beat up. As you saw in the last video, the backyard bash in there. I... Uh, as soon as I got out there, I thought I heard some at the skate park a little bit prior to that. I uh, wasn't quite sure, kind of forgot about it. Went out bashing in the backyard, and then uh, she really started to take off on me. And uh, up to you, but a little word of advice. It makes a big mess when you just keep going. I should have just stopped. Uh, I always forget how much of a mess it makes. Uh, inside the uh, diff cover here and uh, man what a mess anyway tip number one have to have this clean you got to make sure you get every little piece of metal out of there I mean every little piece because you leave stuff behind possibility it's gonna get caught back in the grease it's gonna wipe the gear out again uh, and I'm talking from experience. <laughs> so, uh, listen to what I'm saying. Make sure it's clean. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, like I said, easy way. Took the rear bumpers off. Uh, wheelie bar and rear bumper. Uh, pulled the upper arms off. Just folded them down. Shocks. Both sides. Wheels, of course. Got a little uh, support brace here. I like to take it off, get it out of the way, and make stuff flex a little bit. Quite doesn't come out. You gotta flex some stuff to get the cover back in. And uh, bolts around the diff cover there, comes right out. Pull this out, pull the gear out. Uh, the pinion gear there, as you can see, it's uh, the edges are quite beat up. I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick that up, but. Sometimes uh, I've had them where they don't look too bad. I use them. Take my advice again. Listen to what I'm saying. Takes a gear out. Talking from prior experiences and pain. So I always change both. 7791. 7792. Ring and pinion. Let's start with the uh, pinion, real easy. Needle nose, it's right in here. Feel the splines, push her in. Make sure she's in all the way. I use a heavy equipment grease. It's uh, Multiplex 3 if you're interested. Uh, I get it from DNA. Uh, I usually borrow a little bit from work. And uh, what's nice about this stuff, it's a super duper duper grease that uh, I, th I guess the only way to explain it is like a I guess the way it was explained to me, it's like a deck of cards. If you take a set of cards and you lay them out, that's how this grease works. It's millions and millions of platelets. So when it rubs or slides away, there's another layer of platelets. So it makes this grease really awesome, an awesome lubricant. And uh, I found over the last couple years, I get a little bit from work because we got a 55 gallon drum of it and uh, it works really well 
So uh, I'm going to pause you guys and I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing here. Here we are. We're back again. I already broke these loose. There's four screws. I'm hold this gear on. Uh, I've also taken this cup to hold your drive shafts with a screw and remove the bearing. Very simple. see this driver here makes light work of everything so much easier and once you got that done there it's gonna pull the gear up this center section you're gonna push out so there's the old ring gear you're going to install the center section that was on the old ring gear back in always like to add a little oil back uh, the oil's up to you I run a 4000 seems to run best for me what I have nice part about this when you're bashing and when you're doing all that race and stuff, everything's so vital. Some people may say use Loctite. Uh, I don't. It never seems to last long enough to where. Um, I'm always in and out of here, I guess is what I'm saying. So I don't lock tight it. I never had it last long enough to where screws ever backed off. Um, over five or six years is probably my, I don't know, sixth, seventh time. I've always seemed to have problems on my rear uh, blowing the gears I've uh, actually had the hardened set of uh, gears in there and blew that got on the phone with Traxxas to talk to him about it uh, the whole rear has been changed said maybe something was wrong with it that, that changed when I upgraded to the 8S Still have the problem, and uh, so I think mostly it's I induce the issue uh, due to uh, I usually seem to run into the problem when I go from <coughs> excuse me from like dirt to like a hard surface like blacktop or concrete uh, some reason just doesn't want to seem to hold up oh and doesn't that stink and there's a prime example why you need to pay attention there is an o-ring in there And guess what I forgot? The freaking O ring. Go figure. But I'm human just like everyone else. I'm no expert, as I just demonstrated. So we'll do this all again. I'm just demonstrating on not how to do it. Of course, I just rolled on my dirty bench.
do it a little different this time. I'm going to flip it upside down. Put that old ring on. Where's all my fluid? That would have been interesting. Would have been doing this again, that's for sure. And probably a lot more gears. Of course, it's late here. Most of my children are sleeping except for my oldest daughter. So that's the water you hear in the background. She's taking a shower. It is hard, man, to get time to make videos, do your RC stuff, get three kids and a wife. God bless them. I love them. But man, is it hard just to get that time. I'm going to go back again, like we've already said once, tighten these down, that final little torque, and voila, next we're going to throw the bearing onto here, pops on, spline gear, cup, hold your drives, or actually puts it out to your drive shafts. And the little screw for that is right here. I'd have to say out of all the RCs I've owned over the years, the X-Max, being as big as it is in the machine that it is, uh always like to check the other side too because I don't lock tight that because you run into problems you end up replacing all kinds of stuff and spending a lot more extra money God knows these days you know not everybody's got it so be careful what you do uh, but anyway like I was saying is for as big as the X-Max is and what it is and the power and everything kind of, it, there's awesome engineering but it's easy to work on uh, it's not too bad. Uh, very simple. Everything's kind of module. Uh, getting to the diffs easy. As you see, it's right here. Just really is five minutes. Uh, if I do it on camera, it's going to take me 20 because everything's going to go wrong. Anyway, I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer uh, so you can see the uh, actual install of the diff and cover. And we'll go from there. All right. I repositioned you guys again. As you can see. Take this right here. Nope. Messed up again. You want to put a little grease. <coughs> this stuff goes a long way. Because, like I said, it kind of works in the platelet effect. So, I'll put that in there. Make sure everything's turning. You can see, very easy. Just kind of wanna, I left this dirty to kind of bring it up, but you see all those little pieces of shiny stuff there? That's all the metal. And that was all inside that cover or inside this cover, inside the housing there. Really important that you get those pieces out. Like I said, guys, take it from me. I've made the mistake. You know, you spend, you know, $30, $40 on parts. And two sets of batteries later, three sets of batteries later. Whammo. Guess what I was doing again? Then I realized that I just missed a bunch of stuff. And that's just not good. So now cover all nice and clean. Got everything out. And we're just going to go right back in with the diff cover. Bam. And that's it. Put the screws back in. 
Axles back up, arms back up, shocks, wheels back on, guys, and that's it. So, like I was saying, guys, that's it. Not that bad. Set up kind of easy for the repair. I hope this helped somebody. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope someone it helps someone out out there. I just want to say all of you guys out there has been supporting RC Brucey, watching our videos, hitting the like button, commenting, and subscribing. I just want to tell you it's truly and greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next bench time. I'll see you out there bashing the colonel. Thanks for watching RC Brucey, guys. You guys have a fantastic.